find this really mind-boggling. This is something that happened 10 billion years ago. If you ask a scientist how the universe began, the Big Bang is the most likely answer. Our universe, which is made up of stars, galaxies, and a cosmic web of large-scale structures separated by huge expanses of empty space, was not born that way and will not remain forever. Instead, the universe expanded and cooled from a hot, dense, homogeneous matter and radiation-filled state with no galaxies, stars, or even atoms at the beginning. Everything that exists today did not exist 13.8 billion years ago, and all of this was discovered in the last 100 years. Despite this, there are a number of facts about which most people, including many scientists, are unaware. When speaking with scientists and astronomers, one of the most exciting things to bring up is the Big Bang. This is because the theory discusses how the cosmos began in the first place. However, the event that caused the Big Bang is still being debated among scientists today. As a result, the James Webb Telescope was tasked with making some discoveries about the Big Bang. The JWST discovered something extremely satisfactory, but it was not what the scientists had anticipated. What did the James Webb Telescope discover and how does it fit into the Big Bang Theory? Join us as we investigate the alarming discovery made by the James Webb Telescope before the Big Bang. It all started when an astronomer noticed a finding made by the James Webb Telescope. When astronomer Rowan Naidu spotted the galaxy that nearly broke cosmology, he was at home with his girlfriend. He was looking over some of the photographs sent by the James Webb Telescope when one of them caught his eye. The telescope had detected a suspiciously large object which Naidu recognised. It predates the Big Bang, making it older than any galaxy known to science. It was a startling find for him, and he immediately summoned his fiancée to watch the most distant starlight as well. His crew congratulated him on his finding, and they then started to work. A few days later, Naidu and his colleagues published a report titled Glass Z13 on the newly discovered galaxy. It was a discovery that stunned the scientific community because no one expected the James Webb Telescope to make such a discovery. This old galaxy was discovered just a few weeks after the James Webb Telescope went into operation. It was a tremendous accomplishment, because if such a discovery could be made just a few weeks after the telescope's launch, what else could it discover? The JWST, the most powerful telescope now in use by scientists and astronomers and the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, was designed to help us better understand our cosmos, and it is already doing so. The telescope circles the Sun 1.5 million kilometres distant from earthly interference. It has a sunshade the size of a tennis court, massive segmented mirrors and extremely sensitive equipment designed to discover previously unknown data about the cosmos and its entirety. This JWST detected period is known as the scarcely explored area and it reveals how the first stars and galaxies originated. The scientists appear to have just partially uncovered the events underlying this process because the entire process is based on unusual physics. However, now that the Big Bang era has been discovered using the James Webb Telescope, cosmetologists will be able to delve further into previously inexplicable occurrences. This entails either proving the validity of their best consensus theories or identifying gaps in understanding that may lead to new discoveries. This includes everything from the unknown impacts of dark matter and dark energy to the hazily understood interplay between starlight gas and dust. Such observations were expected to take time because original forecasts predicted that the first galaxies would be so tiny that the JWST would have difficulty detecting some of them during its examinations. The $10 billion powerful telescope, however, proved the predictions incorrect and returned astronomers and cosmologists to work as soon as it returned its first photos of the distant universe. Upon getting the photos, astronomers like Naidu began to discover numerous galaxies that outshone all forecasts about size, age and luminosity. It was an unusual moment that almost caused scientists to panic, because Naidu was not the only one who made these discoveries. Several research organisations also made discoveries based on the photos returned by the JWST. 
It almost became a competition as news of additional record-breaking galaxies kept trickling in from various research organizations. It was something astronomers never expected. Soon after the JWST discovered these galaxies, theorists and observers began to investigate them in order to explain the phenomenon. They began to wonder if the slew of unusually large and luminous early galaxies was a mirage or if it was due to defects in the telescope's initial observations. But if these findings were true, could they be explained by current cosmological models? Could these discoveries be the first indication that the universe is stranger and more intricate than even our most audacious theories predicted? The JWST's revelation jeopardizes our understanding of how the cosmos we know formed from primeval chaos. This indicates that the JWST's early discoveries could be a factor in rewriting the first chapters of cosmic history, which encompass not just distant epochs and distant galaxies, but even human existence in our familiar Milky Way. Mark McCochran, a senior advisor for research and exploration at the European Space Agency, commented on the JWST discoveries, saying, You build these machines not to confirm the paradigm, but to break it. You just don't know how it will break. The JWST's observations of early galaxies have been in the making for billions of years, but they can only be traced back to the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, in 1985. The Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST's precursor, was still five years away from being launched on a space shuttle at the time. But Garth Illingworth, the STSCI's then deputy director, was taken aback when his boss Riccardo Giacconi, who died in 2018, asked him a strange question. Giacconi inquired of his deputy about what would happen next once Hubble made its discoveries. Illingworth was taken aback by the question and protested that there was still more work to be done on the Hubble Space Telescope. But Giacconi refused to budge. Following that talk, Illingworth assembled a team and began developing concepts for the next generation space telescope. The James Webb Telescope was later called after former NASA Administrator James Edwin Webb. In December 1995, astronomers directed the Hubble Space Telescope toward a seemingly vacant patch of sky for 10 days in a row, emphasizing the necessity for the JWST telescope. Several experts projected that the Hubble observations for 10 days would produce nothing, revealing only a few faint galaxies at best. However, the Hubble Space Telescope results astounded them. The Hubble Deep Field image revealed that the empty region it was pointing at had thousands of galaxies dating back 12 billion years in our universe's 13.8 billion year existence. Illingworth, who is now an astrophysicist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, recalled the finding, noting that galaxies were everywhere. The Hubble field demonstrated that the early universe was busier and livelier than most scientists had anticipated. It became a lost but now found treasure to astronomers and scientists who took the time to examine carefully, notwithstanding how mind-blowing Hubble's deep field was. This led to the birth of the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope was launched on December 26, 2021, after more than two decades of hard effort and innovation at a cost of $10 billion. Its trip began and it arrived in outer space a month later. The JWST has to go through rigorous testing at this point to ensure optimal performance. This testing proceeded until July 2022, when it was ready to begin its first year of scientific observations, dubbed Cycle 1 by scientists. Part of these early observations were committed to high-impact activities spanning multiple disciplines, the results of which would be made public immediately. SEERS, Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, and GLASS are two of these disciplines. The Grissom Lens Amplified Survey from Space spent dozens of hours staring at distant small regions of the sky, hunting for galaxies in the early universe. Scientists didn't expect much from the JWST except for a sharper version of the Hubble Deep Field and the finding of extremely distant galaxies after a few day cycles from multiple programs. However, the James Webb Telescope has quickly shown its worth, as the initial sets of observations produce the galaxies and images observed by Naidu and other astronomers in research organizations. The inflow of scientific articles regarding the JWST's initial observations was not by chance, 
as astronomers and theorists began to produce scientific papers and hypotheses about their discoveries as the first data began to come down. However, several scientists were concerned about the idea of having numerous scholarly articles over the first set of findings. Klaus Pontopadan, a project scientist at STSCI, highlighted his concerns, claiming that people in research groups may have rushed things. He explained why, stating that early collaboration challenges with JWST, for example, may have influenced some results. Nathan Adams of the University of Manchester in England and his colleagues discovered that when one galaxy with a redshift of 20.4 was recalibrated to a redshift of just 0.7, major changes may occur. However, considering the total number of JWST high redshift galaxies, these difficulties are unlikely to wipe them out. Because of the large number of galaxies observed and reports made by scientists who discovered them, the chances of all scientific findings being incorrect are slim. As a result, scientists are looking for follow-up observations using the James Webb Telescope. In fact, multiple research groups have submitted applications asking more time to use the James Webb Telescope for space studies. The majority of these ideas seek to investigate prospects for high redshift galaxy. Regardless, more initiatives are slated to begin in the search for distant galaxies, with the Cosmos Web project being one of them. The mission is expected to add to the known populations of early galaxies by studying a large area of the sky for hundreds of hours, possibly a month or more. Scientists estimate that thousands more galaxies have still to be discovered and that this mission will help them find them. Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section down below.